Hi everybody! Welcome back for more Book Snacks! Uh, last time we got three whole new uh, villagers, including Cromdo. To what do I owe the honor? Oh, I'm just curious what you think you're doing here. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm working the counter! Cromdo Mart's back in business, baby! Don't act all innocent. If you start running scams again, I'll know. Yeah, yeah, because you know everything. And here's what I know. You're not better than me, Beth. Nobody likes all you snooping around. <laughs> I don't care what they think about me, as long as I make sure you get what you deserve. Okay, I'm starting to like Beth cut better. Are you going to buy something or what? Yeah, I'll take a tall snack water extra fizz. Coming right up. Alright. Hey, you. Got time for an interview? All right, I could use some practice. They'll be interviewing me every day when I'm a gazillionaire. Oh, I hate this guy. All right, let's get it over with. So who are you? Brrrts. Business King, Sales Savant, future CEO of Starbucks, the one, the only, Crondo Face! Face? Why'd you come here? You ever smell the future, kid? Huh? I can tell you, Lisbeth stank of opportunity. She came on TV talking big about this new superfood, and I wanted in. So I quit my dead-end job and followed that stench of possibility. Uh-huh. All right. And uh, what was your dead-end job? Uh, I used to go door-to-door -door selling gruel to grandmas. Paid on commission, for grump's sake. Okay. Well, what do you think about bug snacks? <laughs> what do I think of? <laughs> Delicious! Irresistible! Marketable! They're gonna catapult me straight to the top of money down, baby! Uh-huh. And, uh, why'd you leave? Yeah, I tried to make use of what Lisbeth didn't need anymore, and Bethica didn't like that! Yeah, she went and told everyone that I'm a thief! Weren't you stealing? I was salvaging! That's a community service, pal! But Bethica planted evidence in my hut, said I stole her diary, so I did what any honest grump would do. I ran. <laughs> Alright, what can you tell me about Lisbert? Oh, don't get me started. Everyone here thinks she's so great, such a fantastic leader, but I know the truth. She came here to stroke her ego and get Egabel her fix. The rest of us were just pss, disposable. Okay. Disposable? That's pretty cold. That's Elizabeth mega thick. When push came to shove, she abandoned us. What do you mean? I, I gotta confess, I was thinking about sailing home after things got hairy. But when I went looking for our boat, it was gone. There's only two grumps missing. You do the math. <laughs> I bet Liz and Egg are living large in New Grump City by now. That seems unlikely. Anywho, that's that for now. Yeah, 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 I get it, pal. I'm not the nicest grumpus around. I learned early on that life is like a box of trash. You always know what you're gonna get. Trash. Just go check out where the boat was. See what you think of Lizbert after that. All right, buddy. He's a jerk. Oh, and you've got a quest for me now, too. What are you scheming? Hey, pal, I got a business opportunity for you. Oh, boy. I got a tip that Trifity found some sort of treasure map while she was digging around. They say it'll lead to a huge bug snack. Imagine what a snack that size is worth. I was thinking of taking that map off her paws. That's where you come in. Get me a bug snack so delicious that Trifony would die for it, and we'll trade. Then we'll split the profits 50 50. <laughs> Did you say 15? I clearly said 50. Oh my god, I hate this guy. Hey, look who else has a quest for me. What's up, Wombus? Nothing yet. I think something might be wrong with the soil. Too dry or maybe too wet. Either way, something needs fixing. 
Why don't you fetch me a big old fibrous bug snack, like a spuddy? I got a plan. <laughs> All right. Hi, Chandler. Hi there. How's it hanging? I'll talk to you in a bit, Philbo. Chandler, slow down. I got interview you. Ooh, gonna quiz me, dog? I'll crush your questions. All right. <laughs> okay, who are you? Chandlo Funkbun. I lift. Uh, clearly, lifting is a job. It's a way of life, bro. Anything that needs to go up. Logs, buildings, balls, Snorpy. I'll get them there. <laughs> Uh, all right, why'd you come here? I want to push my limits. I gotta go somewhere extreme. I heard nobody comes back from this island. Sounds like a challenge to me. All right, and uh, what about Snorpy? Hey, I'm always looking out for Snorpy. I know roughing it isn't his style, but there's no way I was coming here without him. Uh, how'd you two become a thing? I don't know what you mean, dog. We're like the sky and the sea. Been together since the dawn of time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's cute. Uh, what do you think about bug snacks? Bug snacks are strong. Like a primal kind of strong. Like they own this place, and I gotta respect that. Okay, uh, why'd you leave town? Bro, Snacksburg was a disaster without Lisbert. I couldn't stop all the fighting with lifting or wisdom. <laughs> I gotta keep things chill for Snorpy. He's got a lot of that social anxiety. Among other things, yeah. Uh, know anything about Lisbert? Lisbert is top dog, you feel me? She really inspires me to test my limits. But, uh, that's about it. I'm really tighter with Egabel. Hmm. Uh, what can you tell me about Egabel? Egabel's a sweetie. She was always looking out for me. Showed me how to stay safe while still pushing my limits. But she was always pushing herself way harder. Hmm. She was working out? Yeah. She asked me to train her. Surprised the grump out of me, because she really wasn't built for that kind of stuff. Hmm. We'd go running every morning and lifting after lunch. Though she would get real down on herself sometimes. But she never gave up. And I respect that. Hmm. Uh, so what happened to Elizabeth Negabel? I wish I could tell you. Those two were strong together. I can't think of anything that could take them down. They gotta be okay out there. Somewhere. Alright. <laughs> Thanks, Shando. You really slam dunked my questions. Bro, that's not... Just... Don't. <laughs> anyway, I recorded Egabel's progress while we were working out. She shared some pretty private stuff. But maybe it'll help you bring her back to us. Don't let me down, bro. No. Oh. Agabelle's chest key. Cool. Hey, Snorpy. Interview time. Are you mad? I can't have my secrets plastered all over the front page news. Hmm. What well, if your name wasn't attached? Hmm. I suppose I can reveal a tad bit, so long as my identity is protected. Alright. So, who are you? <clears throat> I am Snorp- Redacted. Mean. I have <laughs> devoted my life to inventing devices that foil the machinations of the Grumpinati. Okay. Uh, why'd you come here? Well, I was dragged here by my dearest friend, Chan- Redacted. <laughs> he thought I needed some fresh air or something. Much as I hate the outdoors, I simply can't say no to him. Cute. I, <laughs> just the way he... The way he says redacted, like, on another audio layer is just amazing. I wish I could pull something off like that. Uh, so how long have you and redacted been in a relationship? Well, I, 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 I mean, we've been together since kindergarten. It would make perfect sense if we were together together. He's never <laughs> said we are, has he? Uh, so what do you think about bug snacks? I surmise they are some sort of synthetic life form designed to beguile our taste buds. 
Uh, if they're artificial, then where do they come from? I'm so glad you asked. I believe there may be a factory <laughs> located on this very island, hidden somewhere deep underground. I have charts. Let me show you my charts later. All right. Uh, why'd you leave town? I was too exposed. Flufty tried to wrap me up in their experiments, now that Lizbert and Agabel weren't around to occupy them. I could see that this was the next step in the Grumpinotti's plot against me. Uh, plot? Lizbert disappears, we are hit with an earthquake, we suffer a snack shortage, all that in one day. Do you really think those are all coincidences? The timeline is on my charts. Huh. Uh, got any info about Lizbert? Elizabeth Megafig was a curious sort and had a foolish bone in her body. She could rival me in wits and chat redacted. Blow and arm wrestling. <laughs> we would share secrets now and again. Dreadful, terrible secrets. Huh. What terrible secrets? <laughs> I'm not telling you the terrible secrets because they are terrible and secret. I mean, yeah, that's about what I expected. All right. Excellent interrogation, chum. So great that you deserve another hugging experience. Uh, ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, this must not go on the record. <laughs> but Megafig discovered something on the island that came to me for help. An entrance to the underground, locked behind a strange device. I assisted her in unraveling its secrets, and soon after, she vanished. Oh. You must take extreme caution. I can tell you where to find it, but the rest is up to you. Interesting. A mystery. Oh, wait, we've seen the mystery door, haven't we? Alright, cool. Let's... Okay, now then. Uh, I think we saw. I think four is the new one. Oofa doofa. Alright, number three. I keep pressing jump instead of interact. Things are tough with Liz right now. But dog, she loves you. You 
two will be back to normal in no time. But I don't want to go back to normal. I don't want her worrying about me anymore. <laughs> when you love somebody, you never stop worrying about them. I know. And I'm worried about her, too. I just want to take better care of her. And that starts with me. Yeah, I get that. I will get you there. Thanks, Chandler. Uh, ooh, maybe I'll hit the showers after all. I smell rotten. A wiggle, 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 wiggle. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Hey, how you doing? What you got for me, Triffany? Uh, how's your research oh, going? Not too bad. Actually, would you mind helping me out here? I dug up this journal out in the canyon. It's um a record of historical landmarks and bug snacks i want to follow in the writer's footsteps so uh if it's not too much trouble would you want to go exploring with me uh sure oh you're too kind the first place of note is in flavor falls meet me there whenever's good for you <laughs> flavor falls have we been Oh, is that the starting area? Maybe. Ah. Yes. Yes, it is. Alrighty. What we're looking for is a big stone grumpus face and a bug snack called a pinkle. Let's look around. Alright. This should be easy enough. <laughs> Eh, yeah, that'll probably work fine. Cause while I'm at it, I'm gonna grab these sandwiches. Come on. Well, fine. Found the grumpus. That there would be the work of the ancient stone grumps, a civilization from over 5,000 years ago. All that's left to them is statuary and some puzzling mechanisms. Unlike the desert grumps, these folks didn't preserve their dead. In fact, the writer thinks they would sacrifice him to the bug snacks, like an offering to the gods and whatnot. And what this thought. means bug snacks may be a more lasting legacy than any of the stuff they built. Alright, and uh... Here you go. Isn't that nifty? Oh wow, that's a good one! You might have noticed pinkle statues scattered around here. These must have been an important food source to the ancient grumps. That was well, everything, right? I was hoping to find a camp of some sort. Maybe a corpse or two. But oh well, there's plenty more spots to check out. Let's head back to Snacksburg for now. Mystery map. Ancient grumpuses need to be fed first, but what do they like to eat? Pressure plates won't activate. Near the mountain peak, hang left from the trail and take a narrow ledge north. See attached map. Alright. Hmm. 
And at the end of the boiling bay of past the shipwreck, Liz was definitely over there, you'll see. Huh. Hmm. All right. I haven't checked this. Uh, Brawny Builder Bro, surprisingly spiritual, likes the outdoors, challenges, and rager parties bra. Uh, ingenious introvert inventor, conspiracy theorist, likes the indoors, metallurgy, and charts. Uh... Wiggle wanted the sub sandipedes. Here she is. Oh, what's shaking, baby? I don't, but do tell. I stumbled into the studio two hours late. I hadn't slept in five days, and I was holding a banjo for some reason. <laughs> I couldn't remember my own name, much less what I was going to sing. So in my haze, I just made it up on the spot. The name two weeks or... later, I had a platinum record, and apparently I'd invented banjo pop. <laughs> Needless to say, it's been a hard act to follow. Indeed. Alright, well, what else you got for me? Darling, are you ready to help me top the charts? Triffany told me about a bug snack in the desert that only appears during the full moon. A creature in tune with the cosmos. Something that beautiful must also be significant, no? <laughs> I'd, I'd imagine. Oh, the white sheep hoofs. Those don't... I don't think those only appear during a full moon. Ah, yeah, whatever. One, two, three! <laughs> <laughs> That's enough, Chandlo. You're going to make your biceps explode. I'm not stopping, dog! I almost got it! <laughs> You know, I could just make a digging device. Ugh, that's not the point, bro. I can do this. If you insist, I'll go ready some ice packs. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess they were showing up as having a quest just because they had a scene for me to view. That's cool. Ooh, snack pack upgrade. The size of your heart has grown, so has your inventory space. Nice. I knew there'd be a reason to do this. Oh, Kefka's got a quest for me. Oh, no, you do still have a quest for me, too. Alright, what do you want? Yeah, dog. I'm trying to pull up this stump so I can build a bebop court. I'm about as swole as a grumpus can get. And I can't move this thing at all. I gotta be stronger than a Grumpus. I gotta push my limits, you feel me? I mean, I guess so does Philbo. But yeah, I feel uh, ya. I need your help to bulk up. If you go find the biggest, buffest bug snacks around, and I eat them, maybe I'll gain their strength. I mean, aggressive meaty bug snacks. I'm not sure what that would be. 
Hey, Kromda, don't mind me. I'm just gonna poke around in your yard. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, hold up. This guy's a dad? I feel sorry for his kids. Hi. Hey, Bevka. What's hey going there, on? Hey there, bestie. We've got a new target. Cromdo's back in town. I know that greedy crumbag has some juicy dirt. I'm not talking about his pathetic little lies or scams, either. I'm sure you'll find something good. Don't let me down, bestie. <laughs> Hey, all right. Find out what Promdo does at midnight. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Aggressive meaty bug snacks. I mean, I could just mean any one that has meat in it that is also aggressive. Oh wait. One of three. Oh, so one of the. Ones I've got is. I mean, alright. In that case. Oh, hello. Where'd he go? There he is. I think the Intrap is the more aggressive. So is the Sandipede. Go on, Charwee. Just follow Papa's pointer. Or, or don't. That's fine, too. How's it going? We're off to a bit of a slow start. It went so easy with Sprout, I just don't know what's going wrong now. Maybe, maybe Sprout can help. I'm sure he could show Charlie the ropes. What do you say? I mean, yeah. Alrighty! Now just use Sprout to lead Charlie back to my barn. <laughs> uh, okay. So, hold up.
Charwee's a good boy, yes he is. <laughs> well, it's a start. But I'm a long ways off from teaching them to spell out, we love you, Papa. Why, <laughs> I have to cover myself in sauce every morning just to get them to pay attention to me. But that's just the way it goes. You pour every little bit of love you got into somebody and you just hope they notice. <laughs> I mean... The fact that you were able to train one of them at all is pretty amazing. Anywho. I am curious. Yeah. Whatever amount of them is still together or still there, we'll still get back together. That's neat. Alright, let's see. Buffalo Kissed. Haven't found any of those yet. Uh, White Sheep Hoof. Follow Cromdo. Spuddy. Oh yeah, it wasn't part of a main quest, but... I think in one of the letters... Yeah. I think that'll work. Gotcha. Alright, and it's just about midnight now. I think I got enough time to... Oh. He's still up. What's up, dog? Send him. Whoa! Send him. Yeah! Oh, yeah! You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Or you say so, buddy. Almost. There's no gaining without training, dog. I got a new exercise and Uh, hold on a minute. I gotta follow somebody. Just from that as far as I could throw it, which is 31 feet as the last Tuesday. Nice. Unexpected. Yeah. There? Is somebody there? You didn't hear anything, pal. You got that? Not a single peep. I mean, all right, whatever. Hey, an actual bed. 
Ooh, can hardly stay still long enough to get a big Gramble hug. Uh, I think Snacksburg could stand to be a little more fashionable. Here's a look I'd love to see. A Grumpus rocking all four types of peel bug. Please make it happen. I don't think I've seen any peel bugs of any kind. Okay, that's adorable. Although it also looks kind of like a pet bed. Alright, let's go finish off that thing we were doing before. Got a new exercise in mind? If you're ready to spot me. Yeah, sure. I set up these hanging weights all around town. I'm gonna jog around. You use your grappler to knock them down on top of me. Uh, that sounds dangerous. Maybe for you and Snorpy. But this is what I gotta do to challenge myself. Now get me to five weights. Let's do this, bro. <laughs> I mean, all right. Darling. Ah, I almost had it. It would help if I knew where you were going. Ah, you're too fast. Hey, Tiffany, what's going on? Oh, hi there. Hmm. A wiggle, 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 wiggle. Hey there. This is way more difficult than it should be, I feel like. More weight. There we go. Grumdo. Hi. You want something? Oof. Hey, Wiggle. Aloha. Keep him coming. More weight. Keep him coming. Uh, how you doing there? Okay. All right. Now let's see what you got, Stump. Oh, Grump. I think my bicep exploded. <laughs> but that's okay. I just gotta rest up and keep training. With this bug snack body, I'll get there. Because if I don't, who's gonna have Snorpy's back? Aww. All right. That's cute. And then, one last thing. Here we go. O-M-G! That explains why he's always so jealous of Wiggle. <laughs> why would he even hide that? It almost makes him kind of likable. <laughs> almost. Uh, Alright. I think that's enough for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to come back next time, so on and so forth, etc., etc. And I'll see you all later. Bye, everybody!